aren't we all guilty in some way or another of judging people by their by their looks and their clothes on a subliminal level every single day? Isn't this something we just automatically and organically do? Well, I think yes, because today, look how I'm dressed. Can I just show everybody wearing little hot <laughs> pants? You see? No, you wouldn't have given me that reaction if I was wearing a nice, pretty dress. I know you wouldn't. So I'm wearing this to show that actually there is a time and a place to wear mm. certain things. Now, if I went for a, a business interview, yeah. if I went to school pickup even, whatever, I don't think I would, well, I know 100% I wouldn't be dressed like this, because I do think you have to wear appropriate clothes for appropriate situations. And that is just the way that I've been brought up, but also it's the way that it's worked for me. For, I mean, I've been in business, I've been in corporate boardrooms. Yeah. I know, well, I mean, Janet, if I walked into your newsroom saying, could I please be the business editor, dressed like this, what would you say? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'd say. No, Definitely not. Standard, though, it I is a double standard, though. It is a double standard. I look at that woman, a... and, if you, and, and, and uh, if you didn't have the same... So, I've got bigger breasts. And if I didn't have these and I wore a low V-neck top, no one would bat an eyelid. It's just because she's got boobs. And I do think it's a bit unfair. I think you're completely right. You are right. You are right. We, I think we all agree yeah. that the remarks about her, her figure are absolutely disgusting and in, inappropriate. Mm, totally. But the fact is that unconsciously we dress most of us choose, like Sarah has said, to dress appropriately, but we make all sorts of decisions. So when you go to work, you wear one set of clothes. When you uh, go out with your mates, you wear another. And I think her outfit was perfectly innocent. Nothing chosen. wrong with at all. It's just that when you're on television, you know, people focus in on a bit of you. But you, you like. Eamon's yeah. reaction to you <laughs> before we came no, out. That was but, but also, Stacey, you said that you don't find this, you know, you find, find this find fine and you would go to an interview dressed like this. I would go, I'd be on, the, like, cos Janet was saying she wouldn't go on the train in, denim, like, little denim shorts. I would. Like, I wouldn't even think about it. I'm, I'm one of those people who wears the same... My style is just, oh, I like that, I'll wear it. I don't even think about will I get a job or will someone take me seriously cos there's so much more to me than my clothes and they don't define But if you were going me. to work, OK, would you go for a job as a hotel receptionist dressed like, like that? Mm. You would not get a job. Uh, why not, though? It doesn't why make not? any less of a receptionist. Because, but, no, because it doesn't, yeah. because the people... Uh, I agree with you. It doesn't make you any less of a woman, any less intelligent or anything else. But in a workplace scenario, people are coming into a hotel, they might be paying hundreds of pounds for a night for a room or, you know, at least a lot of money, and they want to be met by someone who's taking their job seriously. And whether you like it or not, that is not an outfit that a hotel mm, reception yeah, is not and, and I don't feel people... Behind the bar, maybe in Weatherspoons, yes. And, and I, I genuinely don't think people will take me seriously dressed but like that's this. People's problem. I know, but you do... That's we're we're living in reality, and but reality is... is you'll turn, turn your nose up to the girl working in Weatherspoons because of what she's wearing. No! No, not you in particular, but no. we'll look at people and go, oh, she can only work there and she, he can only do this and they can only do that just because of what they're... The but look fabric at, that look they at, choose to look at, Both of you are putting really great arguments arguments forward for, for both sides. But in terms of, you know, mums of teenage daughters who are seeing, uh, you know, not necessarily talking about Love Island, but th those sort of programmes on the TV where people can dress in a confined environment any way they like with, with, with whether it's their breasts or, or shorter shorts or whatever. Um, but teenage girls are seeing that day in, day out on the TV, on social media, in magazines, and seeing that as the norm. So surely they... My argument against, say, perhaps teenagers dressing <laughs> like that is I don't think they are mature enough to deal with the consequences of dealing yeah. with, with that. So... You know, you're you're of an age where absolutely you should be able to wear what you like, but we are we are living but in a real world where where clothing does have consequences. If you don't think your child is is mature enough to deal with certain things, why are we yeah. subjecting them to them? If I don't think my child is mature enough to watch Love Island yeah. and the way they dress and behave, yeah. then my child's not going to watch Love Island. Yeah, but, but there's the same another thing. With clothes. There's another thing that's just thing. as bad as um, stripping off and, you know, kids being seeing images of, of women with very little on, and that's the Disneyfication of... Uh, that's off, you know, the Disneyfication of women, the virginal look, like 
Andrea. Do you know, coincidentally, got, yeah, <laughs> yeah, coincidentally, Andrea yeah. has come as a kind of blue befrocked virgin, but um, based on Frozen or yeah. something. It's but exactly it's really the look interesting. But it's just as nauseating that image of womanhood where they wear <laughs> little princess. No, no, Andrea. Oh no, exactly oh, no before any saying. newspaper writes that Andrea and I have had a while, we love each other. <laughs> No, what I'm saying is the Puritan look, the virgin look, is even worse. Well, because know, little it's girls funny. then think, oh, I wear a dress with a frill up to the neck and I'll find a prince. I totally agree with you. And I, that's what I find hilarious about clothes in general, is that clothes define people. Like, we yeah. actually look at somebody and their clothes apparently will tell us something about that, them, but it really doesn't. But, 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 I, think, but you know, I think it does. I genuinely think it does. it does. I think the way you choose to dress expresses who you are. And honestly, dress, dress, sitting here, I feel highly sexualised. I feel... I do. <laughs> and I tell you, yeah. the only person that would like me to open the door to him every night is my husband. He'd love it. <laughs> me holding him a martini, dinner on the table. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>